<laughs> so now I think we often associate our pharmacist with supplying over-the-counter medication, but the truth is we overlook the importance pharmacists play in our lives. They're a common thread, a constant thread with a pharmacy almost around every corner. Pharmacists offer a wealth of knowledge on medication and healthcare and empathy as well. Their role in healthcare is extremely vital and one that should not be ignored. So we're about to ch chat to Jackie Mayman, the CEO of the Independent Community Pharmacy Association on how we can get the most out of our pharmacists this summer. Jackie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Uh, proudly representing your field today, Absolutely. so no pressure, no Absolutely. pressure at all. Um, I would imagine with the just the, the body of knowledge that you have to deal with on a daily basis, not just the learning process but remaining current, that it is quite an involved practice. How does one become a pharmacist? What path do you follow? Okay, so I think, as you're already saying, it's a passion for caring for people. It's a passion for science, chemistry in particular, and maths. <laughs> so I think you need to have a matric exemption. Okay. Maths and science is important. Biology and chemistry is a plus. It's four years of study. Then you do your internship and community service and then you are unleashed on the public. And then you are unleashed, I like that. Um, <clears throat> we often, there is a relationship, there is the premise for a relationship because we are dealing in a space that is very personal um, and very important. And often when people come to you, they, they do have a, a need, yes, but they are going to have an emotional need as well as a physical need and then you've got to come up with the answer that's going to save them in that, in that moment. But I think we often forget from a client's perspective that we can do more, offer more, be more effective to get more effective help. How do we get the most out of our pharmacists, do you think? Okay, and I think this is so important because exactly what you're saying, it is building a relationship. You're not a patient or a client. You build a relationship with your pharmacist. You get to know the pharmacist gets to know the family, chats about anything. I mean, literally a pharmacist, you can go from anything from lice to a snotty nose to diarrhea, you name it. That's what the pharmacist is there for. And I think it's very important that you share even stuff that might be a little bit embarrassing. Things don't embarrass us. Uh, they really <laughs> You've don't. You've seen it all. <laughs> uh, we've seen it all. So I think very important that you are open and honest and that you share things. Something that may seem inconsequential to you could be a red flag for something else. So I think, yes, go to your pharmacist. If it's something really personal, ask to go. We've, we've all got private consulting rooms. You don't have to stand over the counter, <laughs> you know, go like, here's my Viagra. There, there is that thing though, that we, I, I hate to say it, but I've, I'm at fault for doing this. When you, you kind of eavesdrop on the person next to you and yes, you're listening, but it's yes. just, I, I'm always amazed at how some of the questions that get asked and things, I'm sitting thinking like, that's crazy. How can yeah, you, yeah. Um, you expect another person to, yeah. to know where to begin? But it's so important when we think of how often we need to rely on pharmacists that we get. Why do you think it's so important for us to get the most out of that relationship? All right, so I think um, we, in today's world, we are very, very fortunate in that we have incredibly um, successful medicines. All right. It's a pharmaceutical age. Yes, it? It, really it is. is, absolutely. However, the difference between a poison and a medicine is the dose. Wow. And who knows the dose and the interactions is the pharmacist. So I think it is so important that when you go, ask the questions, listen to the pharmacist. You need to take your medicine correctly at the right time and in the right combinations. I'll give you an example. There are certain cholesterol medicines where if you are drinking grapefruit juice first thing in the morning, which maybe if you're dieting you are, is going to negate the effects of some of your blood pressure and cholesterol tablets. Wow. A simple thing like that. So I think it's so important that when you're chatting to your pharmacist, you find out when should I take it, before or after meals, what can't I take it with, what other things am I taking. And if you are on more than two or three medicines, please sit down with your pharmacist and ask for a medicine utilization review. We are moving now towards reducing the pill burden for people. 
We shouldn't be taking 10, 11, 12 medicines. And there are people out there with these huge baskets of medicines. And so we're looking at reducing that, finding the most effective and optimal therapy for people. And I would suggest, because often we'll remain on that battery of, of medicines long after we need to. Um, I, I really do understand. I've got to ask you just very quickly, mm. any advice going into the festive season for us to keep our, our health in check as someone Absolutely. who cares? Absolutely. <laughs> so. Before we go away on holiday, we service our car, we check our, our car's oil, water, tire yeah. pressure. Please, if there's one thing you can do, go and have a health check before you go on holiday. You treat your car well, treat yourself well. Go in, have your blood pressure, cholesterol, blood sugar done, your BMI. Chat to your pharmacist about what you should take. Check your first aid kit. Make sure the medicines are not expired, that you've got the correct stuff in there. And another thing, please, Make sure you drink enough fluids, put on sunscreen, take your medicines with you and maybe a copy of your prescription. You could lose your medicines. And also, I saw you had a little excerpt on HIV. Yeah. If everybody could just go and do an HIV test, status. we should know our status. Exciting thing, from next year, pharmacists will be able to initiate PrEP, which is the pre-exposure prophylaxis. We'll be able to give you tablets to prevent HIV infection. We'll be wow. able to give you post-exposure prophylaxis, so you've had an encounter, a needle stick injury. There's some very exciting primary healthcare services that are coming into the pharmacy world. Please go and speak to your pharmacist, ask your pharmacist. We're accessible, we're around the corner. You don't need to make an appointment. Use us to the best advantage. I love that. And they care, Jackie. Thank we you do so care. much. You did your field proud today. Thank you. you. Really did. Thank you so <laughs> thank much. Thank you very much. Uh, so we are giving you the chance um, now added to this conversation an opportunity to win a Dexrel product hamper to the value of 2,000 Rand. All you have to do is SMS the keyword skincare to 33728 and you could be our lucky winner. Remember, SMSs cost 1 Rand 50. No free SMSs apply and that competition ends at midnight today. But you can find all the terms and conditions on Express. Dexero is a complete dryness soothing and protection system, safe for daily use and suitable for all dry skin. Dry skin protection for the whole family.